YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tapes here, and today I'm going to be breaking down how I turn this into this. Now, if you guys just want to get to the effect and skip this tutorial, link below in the description is an effects pack that has 35 different presets for Premiere Pro that you guys can use to create this effect and many, many more. All right, so first off, we are here in Premiere Pro. You want to go and you want to right click and you're going to create an adjustment layer. You're going to drag and drop that on top of your clip and cut off the excess. First effect you want to do is you want to go into effects and you want to search replicate, drag and drop that on the adjustment layer. And then we're going to go into effect controls and then we are going to create an eclipse mask. We're going to invert it. We're going to feather it we're going to expand it to match travis and we're going to drag it on his face now the tough thing with moving footage like this as you can see as it goes in it like changes from his face being here to zoomed in so what you kind of want to do is you kind of have to finesse it by expanding it and moving it to a point where it works for both so i'm just going to play with the feather and the expansion a little bit here and we'll play that through all right, so I think that works there. And as you can see, it looks cool already, but the lines here, you wanna get rid of those lines. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go back into the adjustment layer and we are going to create a mask under opacity. We're gonna grab our pen tool. Uh, I recommend putting this to about 25% when you're doing it and you can press tilde to zoom in. You're just gonna start masking around the edges. So I'm gonna click there and you just wanna mask around these. So they're not visible. Just go all the way up. You're basically gonna be creating a cross in the middle. And I'll be showing you guys what you're gonna do with those afterwards. All right, once your cross has been created, as you can see, you want to go and you want to invert that. And then you're going to do pretty much the exact same thing as before. You're going to mask expansion it just a little bit. And then the main thing is the feather to blend it in, as you can see there. So that is the kaleidoscope effect there. If you guys want to add a little bit more sauce to it. You can drag and drop on another adjustment layer and go into effect controls. Click on the adjustment layer, turn your opacity to screen. All right, you're going to go into effects. You're going to add transform, drag and drop the second one on there. OK, we're going to scale that up just like that and then go into effects and you're going to Gonna add chromatic aberrations vr drag and drop that on and then you guys can play with it to your liking you guys can also keyframe fall off distance here so you see that's max and that's nothing pretty much you can go beginning keyframe at zero drag it to 100 and then play that through just so as it grows as it goes in that is a pretty cool look there already and then for the third look we're going to drag another adjustment layer on hit c to cut the excess off we're going to go into effects we're going to do pretty much the exact same thing we're going to be changing this to screen applying transform again once again the second one drag can drop that on make that bigger and then the main one for this is we are going to be applying a directional blur and turning up the blur length and you guys can change the direction to whatever you want now it does make it a lot brighter so if you guys want to fix that you can go into the opacity and turn it down just so you get as you can see on this chain there to the zero and then let's say we turn it up to that and then as well if you want to add another adjustment layer you guys can go into lumetri color and turn down the shadows to make, make it go back to normal so there you go you have that look there and then if we go back to the other layer we can add a tint we can change the white to whatever color we want so see his flannels yellow go and match that to a nice yellow so as you can see all of the flares that are being created have a nice yellow undertone and if you want more of them you can turn the opacity up you can also turn the opacity all the way up and then turn this down and then the blur length down so just mess around that till you get it to your liking even playing with the scale as well will help all right, guys, and that is pretty much the effect there. Like I said, on my website, there is a preset pack that you guys can download. It has 35 different looks. This is just one look. It is 35 different looks you guys can apply and mess around with. Once again, the way I did it is just layered them on top of each other. You guys can use code tutorial to get 15% off of the pack if you're watching this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.